What's going on, everybody? Cynics Realize, aka Sin, aka Sings, aka the thing you wash your hands in. And as I said before, in one of the recent videos that went up, we are starting our new Nuzlocke, our new Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke, the kind of randomized Nuzlocke. We have a bit more stipulations here, mainly because, um, I guess the only thing that I could randomize is like the wild encounters. I couldn't randomize starters or I don't know if eggs are, I doubt it. And I couldn't randomize other trainers Pokemon, which kind of sucks. So I threw in some, some more stipulations for myself. I have all my rules on my handy nanny phone. I'll, I'll make sure that they're always in the, the um, description down below. Um, so here we go. I'm going to read through it before we even get started. All right. Um, all wild ca encounters are randomized. Trainers, items, starters, and all that are not randomized. There's no way for me to randomize it right now. Um, and the starter is replaced with the first Pokemon found in the wild. But in this case, it, if I did that, it would be a picky pack. And because like the first one's always the picky pack, so it's like the first like actual random encounter. And I and I am able to get a second Route One encounter just for um for my official Route One. And then of course there's dupes clauses, species clause, shiny clause. I don't know what those are. You guys can probably like search it up or something. I don't know. Um, and then if a Pokemon faints, it gets either released or put into a death box. But in this case, I like putting them into a death box so I know how many have fainted. And then here's where things get interesting. Oh, I'm just gonna put my phone right here actually. There is absolutely no healing allowed in battle. So like if I forget to heal before I, I walk in front of a person and then they kick my ass, that's all on me. There's nothing else I can do about that. And then, and then once I leave a gym or a trial, I'm not allowed to leave until it's completed. But in this case, it's I'm not allowed to leave trials anyways. And, and while you're in a trial or a gym, you're not allowed to heal in between battles or in battle. So no healing once you're in there. Once you're in there, you have to suffer. But but when it comes to the Elite Four, you are allowed to heal in between battles. That's the only that's the only one that that will be allowed. But there is absolutely no healing in battles. By healing battle, I fucked up. So of course we are going to play in, in English. Also, if the um, game volume is too low, please. Please let me know in the comments, or I'll just listen back to it and hear from there. So, let's get right into it. I am kind of excited. Your settings have been saved. Hell yeah, yeah they have. Message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukui. Hang on now, give me a sec. Hi. Hey there, good afternoon. Today is, has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That nothing could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. You'll find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky and sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rock Ruff, can you wait till I'm done talking to play? Get out of here, Rock Ruff. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Any, mini, money, mo, this one. You okay to choose this one, yeah? Yeah, I am. Alright, then spell, spell your name for me. Okay. I can do that. I can spell out my name. Synex Realize. You already know. So you go by Synex Realize. Yeah, I do. Ten four, good buddy. I'll, I'll let everyone out here know you're on your way. Synex realize. 
Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo! Yeah, it does. Can't wait to see you then, cousin. All right. And also, funny thing, the same day that I'm recording this is the same day that the Pokemon Direct was, and they announced Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon as the sequel for this game. So I am honestly fucking excited for that. Like, bro. Cinex realize. Come help me with these boxes. All right, let's go. Well, this is fucking exciting. Oh shit. Run, Lily, run! Yeah, so this first episode, I'll go until like right after I get my starter, and then we'll, and then we'll be able to go right into like the actual randomized shit. But like, if I go until I get my actual first Pokemon, it's gonna be a long ass episode, it's gonna be like 45 minutes. Unless I just speed through it, and I am not a fan of speeding through it. I like to enjoy the game, you know? Three months later. I actually kind of forget, like, the start of this game and, like, what it looks like and shit, like... It's been so long since I've actually played through this. I'll talk to that, like, Pokemon Direct, like, it was super fucking lit, like... Like, we're getting gold and silver on the visual console. And, and we're also getting Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm probably going to pick up at least Ultra Ultra Moon, so that way it, it flows with my Pokemon Moon as well. Ah, oh, can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under Alola Sun. So warm and bright here. So that's enough of that. Time to unpack these boxes. Meowth, go get Cinex Realized for me, would you? Meowth, that's right. Let's go. Also, the, the new characters for um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, like like your like your character, it looks pretty fucking clean too. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. Like if you guys haven't checked out that direct, you guys you guys better. Like like it's so good. Spin. Whatever. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy now. So, Cinex realized, are you pumped to see some Alolan Pokemon? Of course. That's right. I want, I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in this place, living in a place like this, must be friendly, right? Maybe. I don't know. Shit. Was that the doorbell? That's gotta be Professor Kukui. Why don't you, why don't you let him in soon, next realize? Okay. Let's go. Or just, you know, walk, walk in yourself, you know, cause, you know, that, that's what you do. You, you're, the, you're the professor. You do you, bro. You do you. Hey there, Cinex realize. The name's Kukui. Glad to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after a long trip all the way out here to Alola. You feeling any jet lag? I'm, sh I'm sure you are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. 
It's still daytime out here, yeah. Professor Kukui! Yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom. I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Welcome to Alola. Of course. I still remember seeing you battle those Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know? I've been in love with Al Al Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. Ha! I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto Gym Leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, so next realize. Let's get a move on to the next town over, cause it's time for you to meet the island Kahuna. And get yourself a Pokemon, yeah. A Pokemon? I'm sure. The Kahuna who lives in Icky Town is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon, yeah. Don't try talk taking on the Kahuna yourself. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbelievable. They're unbeatable to folks like me and you. Not with that attitude. They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon? Then those Kahunas really are worth meeting. Alright. Hurry up and get ready, Cynic realized. Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. Also, didn't you leave your, your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk in there, too? Oh, I bet you got a styling hat that, that'll match mine, yeah? Uh, I wouldn't say it. Bitch! Get out of my way. Thank you. Like, I'm probably gonna have to like hold it like this or some shit. I don't know. Like, cause, like I gotta have good sound, but I also don't wanna have to like keep the DS sat down. Cause, like trying to move around shit isn't good. They're all laughing up the storm. And I'm like, hey, ma, I'm ready. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. Oh, I will. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you get back with your new Pokemon. Woo, that's a styling act, cousin. Meow. Uh, uh, that meow is so funny. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get going to Icky Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go, fam. All right, let's go. Forward. Woo! There's so much talking in this. Like, the intro is like 95% talking. Like, bruh. Now this is more like it, yeah. Welcome to Paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon helping you out there. That's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. First, we're off to Icky Town. Come on, it's not far. We just cut up here. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. The price is way too high. You need to cut it. Right, let's go. Like, I'm probably not going to be talking like a whole hell of a lot because like there's going to be so much dialogue at the beginning here. Like this. Yo, so Cynics realize you're loving Alola already, yeah? I guess. Hey, don't sweat it, cousin. It's, it's pretty normal to feel a bit unsure when you're in a new place. Oh yeah, look there. Look there. Looks like another... Looks like an excited Alolan trainer has come to us. I can't read. Professor Kukui, you gotta recommend another move for me sometime, please. Why? You already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You can find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. That sass, though. I could feel that sass. See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here, yeah? To try to catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. 
And by that I mean only grabbing one Pokemon because you're able to shit out of luck. The trainers go up against one another in a battle and the, the Pokemon they love. Come on, young goose! How is it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon who give... Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with people, see? Now let's get moving. Icky Town is right over here. Alright. And here, right here, this is, right here is Icky Town. This town is, is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us safe and happy, see? I don't see, because I don't see, I don't see him. Huh, what's going on here? We were supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Maybe they're all back there on Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are, yeah. So then if you're honest, do, do me a solid and go find the Island Kahuna. I'll wait around here and make sure we don't miss each other. The Island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. Gee. Good thing this isn't my first time playing through the game, because I would not know what a fucking Kahuna looks like. I'm like, bruh? Really? Really? You want to go up in the ruins? I don't know what, you're, what you'll find up there. I don't even know if I read that right, and I don't care. I'm gonna give her that, like, Hinata type of sound, like, Byakuga! Let's go. Mahalo Trail. Stop being a little shit. Nebby, you idiot. Nebby, why are you so stupid, though? Ah! Who are you? Never mind me. You have to help it, please. Save Nebby. Bitch, what the fuck? What am I gonna do this? Pew! Those bears are attacking it, but I'm too afraid to go out there. I always feel like they might give out. Cause you a bitch. Don't mind me. I'll, I'll save your fucking bestie, I guess. Oh shit. There we go. I got you, fam. I got you. Hey, truck ram. 64 palm. Hey, my boy, Tapu Coco. That's my dude. out of energy it'll just stay in the bag right no I shouldn't say that I'm sorry Nabby I know you're trying to save me that time 
And I couldn't even help you in return. And they're just like, don't mind me, I'm just walking over here, because, you know. What? What is that? Pew pew. A sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful that you helped us out of that dangerous spot. Who are you? Bitch, don't shake your head. Tell me who you are. I think the stone must belong to you. Bitch. It is not my stone. Please. Don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's, it's a secret, okay? Come on. Into the bank, Nebby. How oh, impressive. Nebby actually went into the bag. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by something wild, some, by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but you think you can see us back to town? Well, I don't, I don't think I have much of an option. I'm gonna save though. First of all, I just wanna, I just wanna save so I don't have to go through all this shit again. So, yellow, right? Yellow. Alright, let's go. Get this Pokemon and get it out of the way. Hey, Cynics, realize, looks like you missed the Kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant, oh yeah. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. And Lily, this this is your Cynex realize he just moved to Alola. Take good care of him. So, you're the you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. My back is so fucking itchy. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hall has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. One of the strongest Pokemon users in Alola. Yeah. It's kind of funny. It's I. I feel like this is deja vu because like it feels like I played through this part already. It kind of sucks because I didn't get through much much of the um game the last time I played, but like fuck, oh, if I missed something. Nah, but where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to solve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Spear on the Plank Bridge, and this boy helped to get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall into the ravine. <laughs> and, and that's when the guardian deity swooped in to save him. Woo, that is something you don't hear every day. Oh. Although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have a cause to celebrate. It seems I should entrust this brave and young boy with his own Pokemon. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. Oh, make a man out of you. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui has told me of your coming. I'm glad we had the chance to meet today. Come, come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. Don't mind me just casually moving things around. Like, I noticed that there's like a black line that was like right on the edge, and I was like, fuck. First with the grass type Pokemon around it. Cool! Next is the fire Pokemon Litten. Wow! And last the water type Pokemon Papalio. Work? Papalio? Like it is also like a Papalio? Which Pokemon do you choose as a partner? Well, like, they're not actually randomized like I said at the beginning, so it doesn't really matter, so... Yellow! 
All right, guess I'm picking Poplio again. You chose Poplio. I fucking love Poplio though. Like, it's such a gorgeous Pokemon. Only when you have chosen each other, you can truly call each other partners. All right. I actually really like this. I like this sort of thing, but I hope in um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, they kind of get rid of like that three minute fucking cutscene. Like, at least like, at least let me save before I I get to pick my Pokemon myself. Like, two hours fucking like before. Like, it's kind of some bullshit. Also, I really hope there's more shiny hunting methods because like I'm a, I'm huge on shiny hunting. I fucking love it. And like, I, like it'd be fucking sweet. And apparently, there's more Pokemon that were unreleased that that will be in the game. So I'm like, oh shit. Wait, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Bark, bark. Oh, so little Pablo has accepted you as well as Cynics realize. Having ex accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Alright, so I guess I get to... I'm not going to nickname it because it's just going to be instantly replaced. Like every other Pokemon that'll, that'll count will will be a nickname. Nice, nice to meet you, Poplio. Nebby, get in the fucking bag. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hall and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Like, hello, there's three people like right behind. That old man probably saw it, like, what the fuck is that thing? I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. That's it, Sinex realize. Now you've got what now you've got a Pokemon. You're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah. And here's a lovely gift from me to help you make it special, cousin. Got me a Pokedex. Pokedex is a high-tech kind of tool, yeah. It can automatically record facts about any Pokemon you meet. Your new partner, Poplo, is already registered, so yeah, so check it out. This is the trainer passport that I had put together for you. I want you to introduce your new friend to your mom since I realize. All right, well, I guess I'll do that. Like, I'm just checking out the time right now, like how long it's been. I think after I fight how I will, I'll go, hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. Duh, <laughs> where is the fire boy? And, and what kind of Pokemon battle would that be if you don't even give a name for this day? I'm just saying like, I'm gonna fucking shoot this man. Fair enough. Then I'm how and my partner's Lydon. Your pop. Your Poplio looks really cool too. Thanks. Yeah, so let's battle. I couldn't wait for you to f find your way to Icky Town, so I've been looking all over for you. Um, I really like to see Pokemon battle where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. She wants that dick. Oh yeah, our first battle already. Just have a Pokemon dish out some, dish out some moves and see who wins. Woo! I appreciate you willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no-holds-barred battle from both of you. Well, don't worry, fam. I'm gonna... F Actually, I could save just right here. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna save... Oh, shit. I'm gonna save here. And on that note, I am going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we'll end up re replacing our um, our starter Pokemon with a random Pokemon we find on Route 1. And then we'll also have our Route 1 encounter. And who knows? We might get farther. I don't know for sure. But, yeah. Thank you all once again for watching. I hope you are enjoying this. And go ahead, smash that like button down below. Comment, subscribe. All that other good, good shit. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>